following presentation is for mature audiences only. Who are you? He's a fine man. All hell is broken loose. He's a great broadcaster. He's a very powerful guy. Absolutely brilliant. Feared by men, adored by women. He's a smart boy. It's patriotic. It's no big deal. It's the end of the world. I might as well tell you now. He's a monkey. And how you doing, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome in to another edition of The Wild Side with Eric Clark. I am your host, Eric Clark, saying thank you for taking time out of your busy day to hang out with us on the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit that notification button for the live stream, smash the like button for the algorithm. Let's get me up to 20,000 subscribers, man. Come on, only a 1,000 more to go. You can do it. You can do it. Make sure you're following on any and all the social media. And of course, if you'd like to help the channel grow, we have everything from Patreon to PayPal. If you have a band, song, or a video, something you want me to check out, the best thing to do is get over to the Discord server. Left-hand side, YouTube reaction request. Drop a link and a brief description. I will get to your uh, get to your suggestion when I can. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to see in Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Today's Discord suggestion, it's a classic, and it's coming from Alley Cat. Alley Cat said, hey, have you ever heard of Budgie? Yes, I have. As a matter of fact, I hosted a radio show on Sunday nights here in Nashville called Deep Cuts with Jake Wild, and my first episode kicked off with Achilles' Last Stand by Led Zeppelin. I stopped and talked and went into Crash Course and Brain Surgery by Budgie. So yes, I'm a huge fan of the band. Even Metallica is a fan of the band. This track from 1973 was probably the first song that really got them their attention and put them in the pantheon of the godfathers of the new wave of British metal. This is Budgie with a song about liking money just a little bit too much. And I believe the album is Never Turn Your Back on a Friend. It's Budgie with Bread Fan on the Wild Side, suggested by Alley Cat. Here we go. Great hook, dude.
know, it's, it's amazing when you hear a track like this, you know, almost 50 years old is this track. Uh, that is Bread Fan by Budgie from the album, I believe, Never Turn Your Back on a Friend. Um, and this is the same album, If correct me if I'm wrong down below, they do a really good version of Baby Please Don't Go. And, and I've said, I've said for years, um, if you can't do a slamming version of Baby Please Don't Go, I'm not going to come see your band. Like every rock band should have these standards in their library. And Budgie is one of those bands that this, what you're hearing here is the very beginnings of progressive metal. Very beginnings. Because really, this song is steeped in blues, but it's a progressive blues speed metal track. You can come up with all of those words, but it's really just straight metal. But because of when this was recorded, it was in the infancy of these genre blends. So this band, they're out of Wales, Cardiff, I believe, they were influenced by soul music, by country music, by rock, by folk, by psychedelic by all of that and you're hearing it here very early versions of that so when the new wave of british metal came with iron maiden and judas priest and all of those bands there this is what they were hearing this track right here will get you a speeding ticket (laughs) it's like radar love by golden earring it'll get you a speeding ticket it's a very well constructed progressive psychedelic blues based speed metal track Because, again, it has all of those elements in it. And one of the things that really stands out, what this song does is something that I don't know if people understand the uniqueness of it. And here's what I mean. Beautiful harmonies by unexpected sources. Right? When you think of heavy metal, if you tell someone who's not a fan of metal, Hey man, I got this, you know, speed metal track by this band named Budgie. They're going to instantly think, oh, it's just going to be screaming. And no, there's harmony in this track. There's hooks and harmonies here. And that, what that means is that's mass appeal. There are harmonies and hooks, great melody in this track as well. And that guitar hook is iconic. That riff is iconic. All right. So this track I think is more important to the history of metal than a lot of people are willing to give Budgie their their due because they really were one of the first we're going to combine these early influences and just speed them up a little bit because we're aggressive. They turned these culturally demure tones and made them aggressive. This is 1972, 73, somewhere around there. So... There's still Sabbath out there. Deep Purple is starting to get going. Budgie's coming out. Slade is releasing a lot of really cool, aggressive metal. So these guys are without a doubt, Budgie without a doubt, is one of your foundational bricks of your heavy metal history wall. Um, they, they, they helped hold the whole thing up. And you can tell by their influence because Metallica, I think it was Garage Days or something like that, Reloaded, I can't remember. Um, they all kind of blend in together for me. But I remember picking up when we, I was in Pensacola when we got that CD, and I was like, they're doing a budgie track? <laughs> cool. Because it was the one with uh, Bob Seeger. And I'm like, oh, they're doing budgie. And they do Crash Course in Brain Surgery, if I'm not mistaken, which is another slamming track. So thank you, Alley Cat, for that. R- maybe, you know, I. it's difficult to say more people should know but i think a lot of people do they just um overlook the importance of the foundational tones that were set by budgie by um deep purple and black sabbath and slade these really cool thick rich tones that also contain harmony you know his vocals i I liken it to um jane's addiction you know you have these unexpected beautiful harmonies from these unexpected sources and when you hear his vocals layered on top of the the melodies that just three of these guys are creating and he's doing it while playing bass so again very well done and this is without 
modern technology. I can only imagine what that track would sound like um, in modern technology and modern recording, but that's analog right there. And it sounds thick and rich and gnarly, and it pushes you over the edge. Like I said, dude, that's a speeding ticket track right there. And that drummer, I can't remember the dude's name, but he is he is manipulating that drum kit in a very, that's like jazz metal right there. He was real loose, yet in a pocket, super tight. Uh, the whole band was just super tight, and it created that really frenetic pace that you get caught up in. So when the interlude happens and everything breaks down and here comes that progressive tone. So you go from this blues speed metal and then all of a sudden you drop down into this progressive harmonic tone. Excuse me. Your drums did that. Your drums and bass built that bridge. So the drums built you to that point and then allowed you to come down and then kept you going with its pace and tempo. So again, very creative very um, unique and and groundbreaking at the time. So when you sit down and listen to Budgie Bread Fan or Crash Course or Baby Please Don't Go or the, any of the other five albums they released, you're going to hear the very source of the 80s and 90s metal. And it's all coming from Cardiff, Wales and a couple of other places. But without a doubt, Budgie is one of, like I said, the foundational bricks in the wall that is heavy metal. So thank you, Alley Cat, for that trip down memory lane. It really did. When I saw that pop up, I was like, oh, I think I've played it. And I started looking through my list, and I played Crash Course number two on my Deep Cuts with Jake Wilde. And that was the same show I played, Don't Try to Lay No Boogie Woogie, on the King of Rock and Roll by Long John Baldry. It was a cool show. So thank you, Alley Cat, for dropping that suggestion over on Discord. If you, like Alley Cat, have a suggestion for me, a band song, video, something you want me to check out, get over to the Discord server, left-hand side, YouTube reaction requests, read the pinned message, you knucklehead, drop a link in a brief description. I will get to your video when I can. Make sure you're following me on any and all the social media I have linked down below. If you'd like to help the channel grow and contribute, we have everything from Patreon to PayPal. Make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel. Hit that notification button for the live streams. Smash the like button for the algorithm. Thank you to Connect 200 Music to See and Aunt Betty's Nut Butter. Thank you to all of you for taking time out of your day to hang out with me in the east side of Nashville. Make sure you're looking out for each other. Make sure you're looking out for your neighbor. Try to do at least one good thing a day. I am Eric Clark, and this is The Wild Side. <laughs>